In this video we are going to be talking about WP REST API custom endpoints again. Uh, you guys have been asking a lot of questions about it so I decided to create a few more videos about WordPress REST API and al also because WordPress REST API is pretty cool. If you haven't already please watch the episode about custom endpoints that I created so that you can follow along with this video easily. I will leave the link in the descriptions and also in the cards that you are probably seeing right now. In this video we are going to create one more custom endpoint and on it uh, we will display some data from our custom post types along with custom fields for that post type. This has been a question that has been asked many times on the video I just mentioned so let's get into it. Let's just quickly talk about the setup. So what we have here is just a normal WordPress installation. I have some products, custom post type. So I called my custom post type products. If we click on it, there are a few products on it, right? And if you go to edit them, you will see that those products have some custom fields. Uh, they are filled with Faker Plus uh, faker press plugin so that's where the text this text is coming from but uh, what we are interested in is actually this price and delivery custom fields uh, they are created with acf advanced custom fields plugin of course and the custom post types are created with cpt ui uh, plugin but you can use any plugin that allows you to create custom post types or even you can create them by hand so this is our setup and now what we want to do is we want to display some of the data from this products custom post type uh, on our rest api kind of like we are doing uh, for our posts uh, which we created in that that previous episode and if we take a look at that code so this is a custom endpoint for displaying posts and uh, we also did uh, that you can do something like hello world and you will get the post with a slug of hello world right so this is what we did in the previous episode now we want to display the products and we want to display the custom fields for those products now of course uh, WP REST API is very good and it will actually allow you to display the products immediately. So you just go to WP JSON, WP uh, V2 product in my case, uh, pr uh, it's product in my case because if I add or edit the post types that I created, so products, the slug is product, not products so i screwed that up a little bit but never mind so i would just go to wp json wp v2 product but as you can see we are not getting custom fields right here and also we are probably getting some of the data that we don't need on our custom endpoint so let's create that custom endpoint for displaying our products first okay so this is our plugin uh, we have few callback functions wp posts uh, actually w L post so WL is my namespace uh, and WL post and we are defining them right here so what we can do is we can just copy this paste it right here and instead of um, calling this post we will call it products and uh, the callback fun function is going to be WL products now uh, you just copy these posts and we'll put them right here and as i said our callback function is going to be wl products so let's call it that and all you have to do right here because as you can see a uh, get posts function receives some arguments uh, for example we had the number of posts and the post type so the post type here would just be products and uh, that's about it let's just save it and now we go to our browser now we have we don't go to WP JSON WP V2, but we go WL because this is my namespace. Your namespace can be whatever it, uh, you need. Version one products. And as you can see, I am getting my products, but they look a little bit different than what WordPress would serve to you out of the box. So we are getting the title, the content and some featured images. So for example, we don't need those featured images for our product and maybe we don't even need the content. 
So we need just the ID, title and a slug. Save this, go to our browser, check it out, refresh it. And as you can see, I am now getting just these few products with the title and slug. So what we want to do now is I just want to show you how you can get the custom fields for your products. So how would we get custom fields? Well, one thing you need to remember about creating custom endpoints for your REST API is that this is just WordPress, right? So you can do pretty much anything you would do in your theme or in your plugins right here for your custom endpoint. So for example, if we want to access a custom field using ACF or advanced custom fields, which is the most popular plugin for creating custom fields, you would ch just check the documentation. And the, the, in the documentation, they have this get field function. And if we check it out, so to get the field that you need, you need to define a selector and you need to define a post ID. Uh, post ID and format value are both optional. And if you are using it inside of a WordPress loop, then post ID would, would be automatically applied. Uh, but since we are not uh, going through a WordPress loop, but just a regular for each loop, we will need to supply this post ID. And that's about it. So to get the field, uh, I would just do something like this. So I would name my field price and now to get it I would just do get field the slug of my field is also price and all I need to do now is just paste the post ID and as you can see we have the post ID right here and that's about it save this check it out as you can see now we are getting the price for our custom field also we can do the same thing for the delivery save it go to the browser refresh it and that's about it. So this is the way that you would create custom endpoints for your custom post types and your custom fields. So just remember that while creating custom endpoint, you can use pretty much all of the WordPress's functions. For example, if you wanted to create a more complicated endpoint, you can use WP query instead of get post, which will give you more options in getting the data that you need. I will probably make an episode about that also. So anyway guys, this has been it for this video, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub, the link will be in the description below, and as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.